Today I want to talk a little bit about minimalist shaving and shaving without spending a ton of money. If you don't know me, I'm Spencer and I like to talk about frugality, simple living, and ways to reduce your uses of technology by using other technologies. So let's get into it. So shaving can be quite expensive, especially if you're buying one of those multi-blade razor sets. It's it's a scam. It's kind of a scam. Like companies like Gillette are losing money by selling you the kit with the handle in it. The handle is always sold at a loss, but they know they're going to recover the loss because you've bought into this proprietary blade system where you can only go to them for the blades. The blades are very expensive. They're actually insane how expensive they are. I'm talking like 20 to 40 bucks for like a pack of multiple sets of these blades. And then they tell you that the blades are only good for like a few weeks of use. So you're going through these things quite regularly. It can add up to being quite expensive over the course of a year or even over a decade if you stretch it out. Pretty early on, I was not excited about the cost when I was first just getting into working and not making a lot of money as a young man. And then also now just not wanting to spend the money on things like that, wanting to save the money and hold on to it as much as possible. So today I want to talk about a few of the options which are available, which are going to cost a lot less money. They're going to be better for the environment because you're not replacing these constant plastic and metal blade sets. You're going to use stuff that lasts a lot longer and it's going to save you a lot of money as well. So it's a win-win. So looking at my shaving kit here, I have a few different things that really depend on what length of your facial hair is. If you have a beard like I do, you might be using one set of things, but if you're trimming your neck, you're going to use something else. And then if you trim your entire face, you're going to use the same thing, just a lot more. So let's get into my stuff that I have here. I'll start off with the first tool that I bought. So this is the Gillette Super Speed Safety Razor. I bought this back in 2012, I think. I was reading a lot of Art of Manliness at the time and they had a bunch of articles out called Shave Like Your Granddad. And uh, this was something that I knew right from the get-go that I wanted. It was a pretty cool looking thing. It's all metal construction. It's made back when Gillette wasn't trying to sell these razor cartridges. It's a standard double-edged safety razor blade that you replace. And all you have to do is you twist the bottom of the handle and the top opens up. And this thing is, again, from 1963 and it works perfectly. The razor blade just comes out of here. Then you put a new one in and then you just close it back up. That's all it is. It's very simple. And you're just going to turn the blade at about, like I don't know, 45 degree to the face. And you're just going to do that and you're off to the races, you're shaving. So cheap. Those blades, they're getting harder to find because this has kind of fallen back out of popularity again, but you can find these double-edged safety razor blades quite easily, quite readily still, and they're gonna be a lot cheaper than when you buy these like five blade with some sort of moisturizing stick within them, packs from Gillette or from Schick or whoever makes them. And I will say that these razor companies in even a lot of blogs about shaving will tell you that you need to change the safety razor blades like every two weeks, similar to you would hear from Gillette with their like five blade systems. I have not found that to be the case. I would say that is probably not true and it's just meant to sell like product again. So I changed my blades like I've bought one pack of blades ever for this. Now I haven't shaved with this for a couple of months and I I rarely do shave with it at this point just because look at me I'm not doing a ton of shaving with uh, with a razor to get that close of a shave. However I've only changed the blades maybe like five times ever in the last decade and I was shaving quite regularly prior to this. The thing with these are, they will dull occasionally, but you can switch sides is one thing. So you're gonna get double the amount that you can actually use. The other thing is they don't dull as fast as people say. In my, in my life, my dad was huge for this. He always bought those disposable razors and people think you can use those for like one to two shaves. He would use those things for months before he would switch. That got me on the like track where I thought, you know, how long can these actually last? If he can make those that are supposed to be like a couple, one or two uses last for so long, how long can I make this double-edged safety razor last? And the answer is a very, very long time. I haven't tried sharpening one of those double-edged razor blades before. I do have a sharpening stone. I imagine it could work if you want to go that far. I bet you could extend the length of those blades even longer. So moving on from that, so the next thing that I bought recently, a straight razor. So I bought this at a flea market recently. Um, I'd been looking for one earlier in the year and it wasn't until uh, probably in like February or March or something that I ended up finding it last year. Straight razors can be quite expensive. They can range from 
I don't know, like 50 bucks probably for a new one to as much as like hundreds of dollars for a nicer one. And used ones can be a similar price range. If you look a lot of places, if you go to flea markets, if you're okay with buying a used razor, which I was fine with, um, this was $15. So you can find these for quite cheap. I sharpened it myself. I wanted to get into sharpening my own blades. So I sharpened this myself and I was able to dry shave with this um, on my neck and I didn't get any nicks. So something was okay with this, it worked. This thing, you need sharpening stones to keep this honed and you need a strop um, as well. And that's gonna add an extra like 30 bucks to probably get a kit of sharpening stone uh, with a strop. But again, that's, that's a one-time cost. If you get a blade that is kind of thick enough and it can handle being honed multiple times over and over again, it should last for years and years, if not your entire life. Like the straight razors, they're kind of a lifelong purchase a lot of the times. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for me. With my use case, there's a good chance it's gonna last me for a very long time because I do very, very little shaving on my face here. I just kind of let this grow out and I occasionally trim it and that's pretty much it. Now, the final piece of my minimalist shaving solution that kind of does really everything for me, depending on what my facial hair length is, is a set of scissors and comb. So this really does everything for me. The scissors and the comb is the ultimate way to go. I can trim my beard with this, I can comb it out, it's very easy. I used to use a set of clippers that I had before for doing my beard, and if you have very, very short facial hair, that's okay, that's a good way to go, I think. But once your facial hair starts to get pretty long, I don't really like the look that clippers do. I can't really describe it, but it's kind of a boxy thing and I'm just not overall super happy with the way that clippers work for me. Toward the end of last year, my facial hair clippers broke and I ended up just switching to these scissors and the comb. And I found that it actually works really well. I'm able to get a very precise trim and I'm very happy with how it looks actually. There's been times with clippers where I accidentally go too far and I shave something really close. Then I have to kind of match everything to that. When I'm using scissors, I can make a little bit of a mistake and it's a lot easier to blend it in. It's a much slower process to do, but it's not nearly as catastrophic. There's a bit of a learning curve, but just play around with it and don't cut too much off and you'll be okay. All three of these options don't really require much in the way of replacements. The safety razor does require new blades occasionally, but much less often than you'd think. The straight razor, once you get the stones for sharpening and the strop, you're pretty much done there. And then with the scissors and comb, nothing else is needed. So these four tools, and along with some shaving cream, but I often shave without shaving cream. Not sure if I'd recommend that, but it is the ultimate minimalist way to go. This is all I need when I'm traveling. I often will just take one of the two razors and then the scissors and the comb, and I'm good to go. Sometimes I'll just take the scissors and the comb, and I'll be able to trim down my neckline just with the scissors. It does take a bit longer. It's obviously not as close of a shave, but it's a pretty simple way to go and it looks pretty clean and I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys found this interesting. Just a quick video talking about my shaving solutions. You're gonna see some of these things mentioned in the one I did on haircutting to save money, but doing this is also another good way to cut down on cost. These things shouldn't be expensive. All we're talking about is cutting some hair off of our face. It shouldn't be something where you almost have to subscribe to this blade service from Gillette or from Schick or whoever it is, having to get monthly replacements. There's even certain razor companies that actually have a subscription service for their blades. I don't even wanna get into that. I don't think you should get into that. Choose an option like this, save the money, shave like our grandparents used to, take a little bit of responsibility back into your life and leave some money back in your wallet. Once again, I hope you found this video interesting. That's all for me and I'll see you in the next video.